Welcome back to High Cheese Mets News, baseball news. I'm Tommy. This is Bobby. We got a lot to talk about. The Braves were in town this weekend and it fucking rocked. Uh, Jacob DeGrom was on the mound again and it was unreal. Uh, Daniel Vogelbach was fucking doing his shit again. Edwin Diaz is, is the talk of the town when he should have been the talk of the town all season. He has been the talk of Mets town all season. Um, let's go, Mets go, baby. It was a great weekend. Um, yeah, it fired me up. I can't wait to, uh, to get into it. Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to High Cheese. How's it going, Bob? How's it going? What's the word? Let's go, Mets. Go fuck the Braves. Oh, yeah, it's aggressive, but we beat them four out of five, which is magical. It's not Um, aggressive when you got people talking some schmack at the end of it, you know? Yeah, Strider. Is his name after Aragorn? If if he's named after Aragorn, he's way cooler. Nah, I doubt it. What else are you naming Strider? No one's... Well, that Strider's with a Y. No, he's got an I. I thought it was a Y. That's in what? Right. In Lord of the Rings? Or Lord of the Rings. I don't believe that. No? I have, I have no idea. I don't believe that, All right. though. <laughs> Alright. I thought that's what uh, it was, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he was talking shit. He was saying that it was all luck and, and bringing, up, bringing up stats that... Stats that... Trying to prove his point. You know, a lot of weird hits. Um, yeah, they, uh... Seem to be having a lot of luck right now offensively, so... Um, that's great. It's August. Um, see what see what things are like in October. I mean, they're just like, oh, dude, you guys got beat four out of five. What are you doing? Stop it. You struck out 19 times that game. Yeah. You were you pulled, the, after you were two pulled the before the third. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Hey, we'll see what it's like in October. Will you? You haven't even seen October ever. No, you're a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. He's a weirdo. Hey, yeah. the Braves. The Braves came and went, and um, yeah, it was awesome. But the, yeah, I mean, the first uh, first game was good. Second game was worrisome. Taiwan, that that was crazy, huh? Where he uh, yeah. took a tumble. It's wild how that's all it is. It's just like one little thing can can throw a wrench in your whole fucking start. Yeah. And what I do mean, you know? He and what do you know? He owned up to it. What, what, do you, what do you know? He just chalked it up to, hey, I had a bad start. The bullpen yeah. had to bail me out. Um, just wasn't a good day for me. I have my best stuff, and um, it was one of those starts, you know. Um, I don't want it to happen in a big series like this, but it did, and I'm going to move on from it, um, and that's it, yeah. Hey, Strider, so you take the high road, buddy. It's not even the high road. It's just the The, the normal road, road dude, it's yeah. It's like the truth road. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if Taiwan came out of that game and was like, they got lucky, <laughs> it'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. You're it was to have a, a bad game. It's not, you know. Good games. This is his first blackout Friday too. I know he was excited. He was yeah. tweeting about it. I was bummed for him. I wanted him to pitch well. Hell, he'll bounce I mean, back. I think it was that hole when he caught his heel. You know what I mean? He that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what we. Were, that's yeah. what I was saying before. That's that's all it yeah. takes to throw a wrench in your whole thing. That's what started the the whole thing. Yeah, I just think after that he just wasn't like something was off with his hip. He even tweeted like a few days later. He's just like, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna start, but I'm definitely still like sore from the other day. Like I don't know what that was. Weird shit. So, but hopefully the, that the Mets bounce back that. right away. Double header. Well, and uh, the other thing too is we go down eight runs in that game. We weren't done. You know what I mean? Like we made that. Yeah. A, we made that a two run game at one point. And they sent Louis Guillaume uh, yeah. on a bad a bad send when we could have bases loaded with two outs still when we were just starting to hit uh, whoever that was. I forget who it was. Pete got robbed the inning before. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it was so a lot of those Pete situations get robbed, where like yeah, like all of a sudden that's a tie ball game. But also, it's also reassuring that we botched those and still kept fighting back. Like in past Mets, fat, past Mets, Mets seasons, it would have been like, oh well, that we was it. That was the option. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was that. That was the opportunity. It's gone now, and it's like, no, no, no. There'll be more, and there yeah. is, and they do it. And the reason that there is is because the bullpen came in and was just like, word, we're not giving yeah, up dude. any runs. <laughs> Trevor Williams, man, dude. Everyone. He's been everyone, he's been he's like, been pitching real well. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. It. I I'm harsh on our bullpen because. I don't know. It's just a tough spot. Well, it's a Met thing. Like, it's also a Met yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like I've seen it, so I'm definitely hard on my bullpen. You worry. You know who looked good this weekend? And go it, ahead. although that that one pitch to Wilson Contreras, if you could take that back, Trevor May looked very good oh, when he came fantastic. out, dude. His fastball was looking hot. His stuff yeah. had movement. He was looking yeah. like pat, like his command was back. And besides that one miss pitch, which we were up, it was fine, whatever. And it was only like it wasn't like it was a great shot. It was it hooked yeah. around the corner and just mm-hmm. got out. It's like. He looked. He looked good. It's funny. Pop, I sent. Probably I sent like off a pop text. up in some ballparks, right? Yeah. Like, cause it was I popped off a text there. to you and like two other people right after he got two outs, and I was like, 
Trevor May looking hot. And then right after yeah. I hit send, home run, I was like, unfortunate. I did the same thing with Jake. I was like, Jake is unreal. Like I sent like three people. I'm like, like this guy is amazing. He's not going to give up any runs. And it was like, dunk. And I was like, ah. A part of me was like, so when, when Jacob DeGrom took them out on Sunday, a part of me was like, when he started, I was like, epic, this is him. And then it got to like the fourth or fifth inning. <laughs> he just kept retiring people. I was like, is he going to do it? <laughs> is he, right. he going to come back and just do it? You know what I'm, you know, you're like, yeah. Perfect, perfect through five, right? Five and, and then Keith was like, "He's perfect." <laughs> Every time, it's like guys. Every time, bastards. But yeah, great, great series, man. Like I, you can't. Every Mets fan has got to be on the highest of high right now. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, we're rolling. After we won, rolling, we're seven dude. games ahead currently in the division. Like seven games ahead, we got the Reds, we got the Phillies, and then we got the Braves again. Braves again. in their on, on their turf, which is going to be fun, and hopefully yeah. we can just keep. Spread I mean, the gap. Look, if Jake stays healthy and we get this Jake, and we get Trevor May, we get Diaz. Lugo's looked if, good as of if late. Jake Lugo, stays healthy. His last few starts has been great. Like we yeah, have that. Yeah, Lugo's still been looking good. We got Scherzer. Like you know what I mean? Dude, like, we got Vogelbach's batting three thirty three as a Met. He's yeah. batting three thirty three. He's got like Tyler a four four eighty OPS. Tyler's four eighty. A triple base, two run OPS. triple last night. Two home runs yeah. the other day. <laughs> like. All of our additions. Right. 1044 OPS for Vogelback. 1044. Is that right? For the big man. Yes. Since becoming a Met. 333 average, 1044 can OPS, we, David. Can we talk about, too, the, the greatest? Burley when, Boys? Yeah, when the Burley Boys were first and third. Best. When it was Pete on third, and it was just like, or it might even be 12 first seconds, second. dude. 12 you, seconds. He made No, it was first. He made it to Oh, I'll wait for a second. I'm yeah, saying yeah, Pete. Yeah. I didn't know if yeah, Pete yeah, was yeah. on second or third. But Wherever it was, it wasn't as far as Just having the Burley Boys round the bases. 12.54 seconds, I think, first to home. 12.5? <laughs> I'm not doing that. No, you're not. All right, cool. I didn't know if you... If, if you, you know, you're not doing that, dude. I could do that. You can't do that. I could do that. No, you can't. All right, well, add yeah. it to the list. <laughs> yeah, you cannot do that. First yes. to home, and no. Yes. No. With you lead? said before you can't do eight seconds second to home. You think you could do four seconds first to second I and then do. be able to get the rest of the eight seconds? I could run as fast as Vogelbach. We'll if your money where your mouth is, you're, yeah. you're fucking no way, dude. Oh, you know what was... Uh, so speaking of Edwin Diaz coming out, he, he's been taking everyone by storm, which is... He's been taking every, the East Coast by storm for the past uh, five months, so I don't know what people are talking about. But yeah. now he's starting to blow up, and, and his whole entrance is becoming epic. Speaking of, the way SNY is doing their entrances and shit and skipping commercial breaks and just following pitches in, Dude. I saw – I followed a director, one of the directors on Twitter, and I followed him, and he literally tweeted out. He's like, he, he was like, thanks for all the all the love for the program. Like, I'm trying to make baseball more like, more like a movie. You know, he's literally trying to make it – I've Which it is. Like, I've mentioned to you numerous times. Cinematic as fuck. Every time they do the dual shot with oh, the, yeah, the fade, cross fade, yeah. and, and then I like when they do the boxes, the long yeah. box and the two box. Yeah, they dude. have the long, they have the, the pitchers mound here with the eye and the eye, and it's just like this, this guy gets it. I Did someone know. put when they when when we got hit and they they put the they put the kill bill <laughs> over Terry and like who was it? I like. Some Instagram handle put up like you know I can't believe baseball broadcasts are up to this yeah. now. I'm like no, bro, I commented that said baseball broadcasts aren't. No. SNY is dude. Every, SNY every is day. leagues they above get the everyone. Craziest shots like dude, that shot of Edwin Diaz when they didn't break and they watched him coming out of that bullpen and it just started with the freaking. Dun, 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 dun. It's arguably better than being there. You get to walk out with Edwin Diaz. You get to walk by his side and be like, you got this, buddy. <laughs> it's yeah. it's awesome. It doesn't be being there. That's not that's not kid. Yeah. Being there, the electricity, you hear it, and you're just like, oh, you see his face pop up on the little board that's like he's warming up, and everyone's like, God, guys, 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 stop it. Yeah. And then it starts up, and everyone's just, oh, we, the, we the got energy, to see a dude. W this weekend, too. Yeah, nice fat, nice fat Diaz dub. Yep. Um, well, actually, it wasn't Diaz, but it was it was a big dub. Um, and it was part of the double sided sweep. So, yeah, so the Mets took four out of five from the Braves, extended our lead. Um, Love it. Yeah, we're just, we're just rolling. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of we get yeah. All our pieces are firing. All of our pitching is just our pitching. Our starting pitching since like the start of July. I saw some stats. We're like second wow. and first in every category. Yeah, it's insane. starting pitchers. It's awesome. Yeah, we're all in the threes now, and that's just like yeah, everyone's just mm-hmm. crushing. Mm-hmm. Jake's mm-hmm. back. He's throwing ninety four mile per hour sliders faster than your starters. He looks ball. so good. Hundred two like, miles per hour in the like the first two batters. I was just like with ease. 
Like, pull back though, dude. Don't throw yeah. so hard. Stop it. If he's fine, he's fine. If he's fine, he's fine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. His his, his slider's up too. I saw this slider's up, like yeah. ticked up like a mile and a half or something like that. It's like, yep. He's literally <laughs> he's throwing just, a ninety-four mile per hour slider. He's not which human, dude. I read yesterday, se- only seventeen pitchers have in the MLB have fastballs faster than that. Average fastballs faster than ninety-four. That's Jake's cool. slider. Cool. <laughs> like what? Oh, Crazy. All right. Oh, well, and another thing, real quick, just to touch on it. Yeah. We'll talk about it more in the next few weeks. But after August, I went ahead of our schedule yesterday. Oh yeah, September's a joke. Oh, not a joke, but it's like Cubs, Pirates. It's Cubs, uh, Nationals, Pirates, Nationals, Rockies, A's. Like mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. like under five hundred teams for almost three weeks. And it's like, oh boy. Yeah. I got and some I tickets. Like I got some Mets tickets. Have a cushion lead, and they're not letting the gas up like our crosstown rivals. Yeah, wild how they they uh they came out and said they're gonna cruise in August. Yeah, it's been a rough start for them. Been a rough start for them. Yeah. I mean, I they just, still have a ten game lead or something like that. So it don't matter, but I know, but I don't. You know. Yeah, they're pitching. Pedal to the metal. Yeah, pitching doesn't look great. No. Not like ours. Not like ours. Not like um, Clemens, Randy Johnson, one-two punch. No, this is just DeGrom, Scherzer. They're on their own level. They're better. No. Ew. Better than Clemens. Cool. Fuck Clemens. They're, they're definitely better than him. No, they're better than Clemens. Johnson, no way. Um. Yeah, DeGrom, so the Mets are, are going to keep rolling. The Mets are going to – what's up? DeGrom may be better than Randy Johnson. Yeah. There's an argument there for that one. I mean, we'll see. He's just as dominant. Yeah. Um. Let's go, Mets. Go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the uh, the Mets keep rolling, and we uh, we just cruise through the Reds, cruise through the Phillies, and uh, get some more dubs, keep man. Keep spreading. Keep spreading. Yep. Hell keep yeah. Spreading out the love. Spread um, it on. Keep so like and subscribe. Hit us with some comments. Is is he named after Aragorn? No, it's probably not. Should Edwin Diaz have a different Should walkout song? No. Should Edwin Never. Diaz have some other walkout song that's not Timmy Trumpets that you think would be better? What would no. get you more hyped than Timmy Never. Trumpets? No, I'm not asking you. I'm asking them to write in the comments. Uh, all right, well, write in the comments. You, you want to say you want to say never? Write in the comments. I'll read it. No. Sure, write it. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Tune in next time. Let's go, let's go, baby. <laughs>